Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowery, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about thyroidectomy and six tips post-surgery. So this is something that I had a lot of questions about in different platforms about what to do after thyroidectomy. So my tip number one is to ensure that you don't have vitamin and mineral deficiencies. So as much as the thyroid may have been removed or parts of it removed, the body still has a need for these essential nutrients. So really important that, yes, we are still talking about some of these. So this is coming up in some of my future tips today. Tip number two is to ensure that you have enough vitamin B12. So often post thyroidectomy, you can run into a deficiency of vitamin B12 and vitamin B12 is really important for overall energy levels, but also has a lot to do with the health of our nerves. And on the outside of our nerves, we have something called myelin and myelin is reliant on having not only DHA, so from fish oils, but also also enough vitamin B12 and that's to ensure that the nerves are actually firing appropriately and communicating with one another in the proper way. Now tip number three post thyroidectomy is to ensure that you still have the proper intake of calcium, magnesium, and zinc in the diet. Now these important minerals are really important for cellular function and also help with vitamin D absorption, but also help with our mitochondrial function. So ensuring that you're getting enough, again, always from whole food sources. I have other videos on how to do this appropriately to make sure that you're getting enough of calcium, magnesium, and especially especially zinc. So I have specific videos, right? You know, all about zinc to make sure that you're getting enough and ideally from whole food sources. Tip number four after thyroidectomy is to make sure that you're getting enough natural sunlight. So sunshine and vitamin D production is very important, but it's also important to run our batteries and our cells, our mitochondrial health in our body. So that's really important as well. So ensuring though, you know, depending on where you live in proximity to the equator, so the closer you are to the equator, of course your body will be able to make a lot more of that active vitamin D3 from the sun light shining on your skin and the further you are away from the equator of course this becomes more difficult as especially during the winter months so getting that natural sunlight exposure is really important some people will need to go to a vitamin d supplement in those months when their skin simply cannot make that active vitamin d3 so this is something that definitely you can look at my shows all about the sun but also around vitamin d so that you can you know get some more information and advocate for your own body as to how to do this in the healthiest and the most natural way possible tip number five is to make sure that you have enough good flora so those probiotics for your digestive tract are really important. Having that healthy microbiome is something that I really talk a lot about. So again, you can check out other videos about leaky gut syndrome, cleaning up the microbiome, and making sure you don't have something called dysbiosis. So getting that right diversity of those positive probiotic flora in the gut is really important, especially after thyroid surgery, because that whole gut-brain connection is really important in terms of making sure that the body and its systems and your brain and all of your hormones are running appropriately. So that is part of, you know, talking about leptin resistance as well. And if you've not heard me talk before, you know, often it comes back to our signaling with our leptin and if our brain is actually getting that proper signaling, which is important and maybe the reason why, you know, the thyroid had issues in the first place in terms of autoimmunity and different, you know, things going awry in terms of our endocrine health. So make sure you check out my videos all about leptin resistance resistance to really help the thyroid and whether you have the thyroid or not, especially post thyroidectomy to ensure that, you know, your systems and your endocrine system and your brain is running at full capacity the way that it's meant to often had and that the trigger for all of this started with that leptin resistance. And tip number six is to make sure that you are always supporting the thyroid gland. So some of the best support nutrients for the thyroid include iodine. So this is really important whether you're getting it from seaweed, from sea kelp. Uh, these are different natural sources of iodine that help to run the body even though you don't have a thyroid gland any longer. So that's really important. Another one is tyrosine, which is an amino acid, really important even post thyroidectomy. 
to run our cellular metabolism, as well as ashwagandha. So this is called an adaptogenic herb that you may have heard about and really supportive to not only the adrenal glands and cortisol levels, but also to the thyroid, even post thyroidectomy. And another one of my favorite herbs is called forscoli. So forscoli is very supportive, again, to the endocrine system. And whether you have a little bit of the thyroid left or not does help with the conversion of thyroid hormones. So there you have it today. I talked about tips to help you with your overall health post thyroidectomy. I hope that you learned something new. Please be sure to share this video. And if you've got questions and comments, I would love to hear from you. So please do leave them in the comment section below. And please give me a thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your positive feedback. So if you're new here, welcome into my channel. I hope that you subscribe and you click that bell by turning on those notifications. You'll always get all of my newest and latest uploads. And this happens every single day of the week. We put out a lot of content, myself and my team, to help you on your health journey. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.